So guys, a lot has changed since I last saw you. Basically, I'm not in my room anymore. I'm in a tent, which actually here is a luxury because you have your own space. We've been living in the tent since like a week and a bit ago. Um, so yeah, our last night is tonight, which is crazy, but we are packing up our stuff to go to Cairns Airport tomorrow to go pick up a van that we are driving down the East Coast. So the East Coast adventure is finally finally starting um so yeah this is gonna be super super exciting we have so much stuff planned and we have like 10 10 days nearly two weeks just over 10 days i think to do everything mad that the port douglas adventure is coming to an end my last day at work was on sunday which was mad i feel like it's been like a, i don't know it's gone so quickly but it's also not like i feel like i've grown so much i feel like i've learned so much i feel like i've experienced so many different things since being here which has been um great but it's all a bit of like a whirlwind and i think the next two weeks is going to be even more of a whirlwind so come along with us see what we get up to but first we have to sort this out no clouds in the sky but again away feels like it's been a freaking decade sorry don't call me can miss us <laughs> hello hello marco is back Ma so, Ma Mark is always here. He is always here, so, yes. Uh, but no, Mark not leaving today. Mark so, is joining us yeah. on Sunday or Monday. No, right? Sunday for sure. Sunday we'll for sure. Ya. We're leaving to Byron. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! On the way to Byron. We've completed Port Douglas. So destination now, go to Cairns Airport. Pick up, pick up the van and then decide where we want to spend the night. And we've got some friends joining us on the bus. So I'm going to love you and leave you at the minute. It's empty and it's lovely and air conditioned and it's about 7,000 degrees in Fort Douglas at the minute so um yeah goodbye <laughs> airport with all our stuff and we're just waiting for is it is this zoomed i don't know we're just waiting to meet the people so that we can get the van um we have basically how we have the van um it's very very ideal so one of the people that used to stay in at the hostel that we just came from um they rent out their vans for a living so they need two vans brought down to byron so we're in port douglas which is like far north of Queensland. so need them brought down to byron um by in like two weeks, ten days, so he's giving us the van for free to bring it down as a favour to him, which is very, very ideal. And it's funny because me and Ange, one of the first conversations we ever had <laughs> was like one of the, if not the first, do you want to come in? If not the first conversation we had was how saying how I was going down the East Coast, and ever since then we've all gone <laughs> down the East Coast. It's been a running joke. And now we're going. Down to Visco. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to Peep My Ride. Um, Van Tour. Van Tour. This is a van. Yeah, it's big, isn't it? So that wow. pulls out into a nice big bed. And we'll show you the rest later. First stop, laundry. Yeah, I told ya. Yeah! <laughs> Guys, we slayed today. The laundry's done. The shopping is done. Um, we've got our little bits and bobs. We've got an SD card. We've got a little camera. We've got a head torch. We've got camping chairs. We've got some new um, earphones. It's great. And look how cosy it looks. We put nothing away yet, so it doesn't look great yet. But it looks so cosy. Um, so, rock, paper, scissors, if you win burger, if I win the delicious Mexican that's over there. In one? One? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, okay. We got the Mexican! He won, but we got Mexican anyway! Yay! Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Location. What's the name of the new beach? New look. Eddie, Eddie Beach. See you at the new location. Bye. So guys, we're like 
semi setup in our little bed. How cute. So, good afternoon, guys. We just spent the morning, well, we went for a morning swim, which was lovely. There is a cassowary literally chilling outside here. They're the most dangerous bird on the planet, apparently, according to Ange. But it's literally just chilling. So cool. But they've literally been walking around all day, which is so cool because I haven't seen one before. They're actually like dinosaurs, like their claws are like, they look like proper dinosaurs. And apparently if they run away from you, they can still kick you with their legs from the back because they run like that, apparently. Um, but yeah, so cool. So basically, yeah, start off the morning with a lovely beach swim. This beach is so nice here. There's actually like waves and the further south you go, the more like waves there is. So we're playing in the waves this morning. It's actually so nice. Um, and then we just spent the rest of the morning getting everything organized, putting all our stuff into the little storage bits that we have here. But Ange has gone to go find water because we have like a shower type thing in here. I mean, we have, yeah, we scored, we did so well yesterday. So we didn't really know anything about this beach. It was just like closer, but there's a caravan park like <clears throat> just down that way, like two, two second walk. Um, and then these guys gave us the code to the hot shower. Oh, well done. Basically, more of the story. We had a lovely hot shower and now we have water in here. So, ten, ten. What do you think he's speaking with now? I think he's thinking, what the who, why are these people here? <laughs> but I think he likes us. They look so good. They look so much bigger than yesterday. go find a spot to eat lunch and I'll chat to you guys when we're on the road again bye and we're on the road again look how big it is oh my god it looks huge yeah it's, ah, a fuck. it's a house it's a bye 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 love you love ya that was so nice so nice that was a good random little find wasn't yeah, it I, I, I think it's better than mission I love random beach and sometimes shit on them to do just like wow this is one of the best ones. that was fucking hot shower so next location go find some service go get a towel and then decide what we want to do guys look how peaceful this is that drops <laughs> so we just went for a swim in there we're the only people there it was so nice and then I thought, some, thought someone stole my bag, so I came back. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't. You think maybe a different camping spot? We could Let's set ourselves up to do results. something tomorrow in the morning. So guys, we just arrived at our new campsite. And when I tell you, we were like going through the tableland, so it's like all green either side, and the roads are like up and down, like windy. And we, there was the most amazing sunset. I was literally driving like this. I'll try and put in a video because Anne took a video of me. I was like... Like, it was incredible. Um, it's so nice. And I'm talking quietly because it's so peaceful here. It's like right by a lake. Um, but this is going to be such a nice spot. We literally just found it as we were driving. That's the first time I drove this as well. It's huge. And I was actually okay. Um, I was a bit like, oh. But it's actually fine. Um, but yeah, it's such a nice place. I'm so happy. It's just gorgeous and it's so peaceful. Like, there is no sound whatsoever. So we watched the sunset for a little while and then watch the stars and the moon come out as well. There's so many stars that I cannot even, like this, this sky is full of stars, it's so nice. And the moon is out <clears throat> and it's so peaceful to the point where I can hear stuff rustling in the bushes. So, yeah, we're gonna cook some dinner. We're just gonna have some pas pesto pasta. Um, it's a lot of rustling going on. There is like a kitchen here, but it's like two barbecues and a kettle and a sink, which is interesting. Um, so we're gonna put our pan on the barbecue. There's a ping pong table here, so we're going to play some ping pong. <clears throat> so this is the setup. It says snake bite and insect stings. Look, unfazed. Oh, that. Can see tonight. <laughs> Italiano, see? Wow. Wow, 
We were just joking it, about the it snake. It looks like food, no? No, that's a snake I, skin. I, I want to. I, Don't I, do not I'm, eat I'm it. I'm sure if you if you fry it, no. it's fucking good. No. Mm. Let's find the snake. But that wasn't there. But ten minutes ago, when we went into yeah, the van. Yeah, yeah. That was literally just now. But it looks fresh, huh? I know. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, looks fresh. Yeah. Okay, now what it's... a beautiful country, yeah? <laughs> Now let's go to sleep. <laughs> Goodbye. Good morning. Well, good afternoon at this stage, to be honest. Um, we had a lovely morning. We did a little workout together and this was a view. Like, that is just lovely plan for today. So we're going to go to a waterfall. On the way, there's um, a place where you can go and see platypuses. And I've actually never seen a platypus, I don't think. When you're there, you can see uh, tr uh, tree kangaroos as well, which I haven't seen one of them before either. So fingers crossed for that. Ready for a new adventure. So let's go. We've arrived. Come the other side and wait mm -hmm. and you'll see it. I don't know if you could, I'm oh, careful. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that at all, but that was a tree kangaroo. <laughs> So, this is my second Australian roast. Actually looks okay. Yeah, that's right. So, we've arrived at Mila Mila Falls, which we were supposed to wait for Marco to do, but we really wanted to see it and we we're gonna see it again with him anyway, just because it looks like one of the best waterfalls I have ever seen in my whole life. So let's see if it lives up to the standards. This is crazy, guys. This waterfall is huge. Look at this. Those are the people. Just to scale how big it is, the people look like ants. Guys, that was crazy. What did you think? It was crazy. So fun. I'm absolutely scalded. I'm... We both felt like drunk after it. I don't know how, I don't know why. I think it's uh, because we let the water on your head. hard on uh, the head. We, yeah. So we it felt like little, bits. little like needles, didn't it, on your head? So, but it's not like one bit of water. It's like little. Lots. You can see like you can. I don't know. That's what I don't know how to can describe it. It's needles. Um, but we both like got up and we were like, whoa. What the we fuck? Like, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> we're gonna go find a beach to sleep at, and I'll keep you in the loop. But but that yeah for sunset. Oh yeah, because we can make sunset Maybe today. We can... Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hello again. La water. La water. La water, very important. <laughs> stay, stay hydrated. Yeah. Stay hydrated. 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 Stay hydrated, mate. Stay hydrated. Oh, she's boiling. Way. Put the master in. So we went to see the sunset at the beach. It was incredible. We found a nice little spot. We're gonna cook some dinner. How handy is that? This is like my favorite part of this fan. Very spot to speak. Aww, <laughs> for sure. So, hello from post-dinner meet. We washed our feet in a sink. What? So close to the sea? Just to the beach, we I know. barely on the beach. It's literally, I know, it's gonna be it's great. It's literally like five seconds. Even, I reckon we can see the sunrise through there. Yeah, it's so nice. So, basically, yeah, we're gonna go to sleep and go up to watch the sunrise, so. Catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. We out here for sunrise. <laughs> I can literally see basically or nearly the full sunrise from my window there. But I thought I'd come out here anyway because it's way better and the beach is completely empty. So, my camera did in fact die, but the sunrise was absolutely gorgeous. And we've just been, we had a swim, we had a swim in the ocean, and then we came back, made a plan for the day, made some breakfast, had some lovely eggs. There's like a water park thing down there, not a water park, but like a kid's water park. Where it was all like kids there, but it was so much fun. I made friends with the little girl, it was so cute. I was playing with her in the water, the shower. And now we're gonna go meet Marco! Marco no, Marco. we're gonna do errands, and then we're gonna go meet Marco! Marco so, peace out guys!
we ate each other at groceries. We're having a barbecue. And we've we, got we're gonna need <laughs> we're gonna need him soon. He might do it be there before us. So. Nah, we'll be there first. Yeah. Let's go find somewhere to camp for the night. And we've arrived at the new destination. And it says no overnight stays, so <laughs> Should we risk it? Should we not? I think maybe we will. Look at the view and the sun is there, which means it's gonna set over there as well. I see a lovely little lake, so um, he's really gonna have to look. So I'm gonna go have a look. There's loads of people paddle, paddle boarding, so maybe we can rent a paddle board here. I'm not really sure, but let's go find out. Good morning. Hello everyone. Yay. It's the same market. <laughs> Every day, every day, every night, I'm here for 10 days. We're gonna straight to Baran Bay. This is Marco's beautiful van. George. George. Doesn't George. it look exactly like a George? George? And so this morning we're gonna go have breakfast at the lake. Wow. Quick dip in the lake. And these are the breakfast scenes. <clears throat> Simplicity. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Wowie! Mila Mila! Day two! Hello! Good Hello. morning! So good morning guys. Um, I think the last time I talked to you was when we were at Mila Mila. And it's been a few days now. Yesterday afternoon we booked a skydive and I guess we're about to go do in half an hour. <laughs> a skydive! Because we booked it such last minute it's not even... Like, I don't feel like I'm going to go jump out of a plane in, like, an hour. Like, that's crazy. Um, but I'm so, so excited. Outfits are on. We're going in 15 minutes. Yes! So excited. Check the fit. <laughs> I actually don't feel nervous. Do you still feel nervous? You're nervous? Yes. I, I'm nervous. <laughs> I think Mars is kind of okay, but I actually feel... I feel like I did for the bungee jump, I was chilling, and then I think before I jump, then I'll be like, oh, so fun, I'm literally buzzing. But I still don't feel real, I still don't feel like it, I'm actually Hello, jumping out of the plane. Hello guys! Hello. Hello. How are we all today? Great! Yeah, yeah, Amazing! Yeah. All kitted up for a skydive in Ellie Beach, eh? Yeah, so excited. First jump for everyone? Yeah. Yeah, the nerves kicking in a little bit. Yeah. I'm okay for now! Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. See how, see how you are when we're hanging yeah. feet out the door, eh? 15,000 feet all the way to the top, guys. Have fun up there. Any last words? Nope. Nah. I nope. love you. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'll talk about the skydiving later, but when I tell you today has been 
one of those days. We stayed at this other campsite last night. I left this morning at like half nine and to come to this like back into the tablelands because Marco was dying to see this like waterfall thing. It's like a four hour drive ish give or take. I think it's just under four hours. It's currently 5 p.m. and we've been driving all day. So we're driving along fine and then we turn onto this dirt track that brings us right into the middle of the bush like absolutely nowhere so we're driving along this road the van is just like this like it i was driving the whole time and oh my god I had such a headache after because it was so bumpy and you have to concentrate so hard because it's all like bush and like dusty and sandy so you can't really see where all like the bumps are gonna be so then we're driving along and then and i'm like where is this gas station because i was looking at the gas and i was like mm we kind of probably would want to top up ASAP. Bearing in mind, we're like in and out of service, so we don't really know where we are. We've got barely any service and the gas is on a downward spiral, basically. Marco was like, oh yeah, there's um, a gas station or like a petrol station um, at 20 kilometers. No, no, <laughs> it was most certainly not 20 kilometers away. Um, it was 100 kilometers away. It's like a normal gauge for the petrol, but he said, the guy that owns the van, he was like, when it gets to a quarter, then you're pretty much out because the gauge is off. Yeah. So we're driving along. We have, I think we had <laughs> half a tank <laughs> at 80 kilometers left. <laughs> and <clears throat> half a tank as in basically like a quarter of a tank. We got to the petrol station, thank God, with literally, we were like below the quarter mark. So I was just thinking for the last like 30 kilometers, we were like, we were running on no gas. So I was, or gas, petrol, diesel, whatever. Um, yeah, we had like nothing. I was just waiting for it to just, you know, you don't see those movies where they're driving like a big bus in the middle of the desert. That's what it felt like, just waiting it for you to for it to like just conk and then we're just chilling. The market was like, he had a completely different drive path. He was like, yeah, this is Australia, man. Like, let's go, like dancing around on the road and everything. And I was like, okay, let's go. Then we drove from that petrol station to here which is just beside the waterfall, thank God. So we've actually made it, um, which I really didn't really, was 100% sure that we would, to be honest. But anyways, yeah, so we're driving up these hills. There was like pretty much like a very similar kind of road. Marco was behind us as we're going up all these hills. It's like, it's windy and it's up. So these heavy vans, like they just not cut out for this. Like you need a big four by four to get up these realistically. And then Marco's behind us and you're like, okay, this is fine. And then we look behind us again and we're like, um, he's actually not there anymore. We went back and Marco's out of his van with the um, bumper up with his hazards on, completely broken down. <laughs> and we just look at each other and laugh. This is uh, Marco's current van situation. The smell, the sound and the heat off of that van I really hope that we make it to Byron. That one's got an oil leak anyway, so it's just a, literally a walking red flag. Everyone come with the 4x4. Four four. Yeah. There is a sign say, if you not have the 4x4, the four four, not come here. <laughs> and we come with two vans. Huh. I think uh, you are the best, huh? And because of all the dust and the sand and the dirt and everything, all Marco's bags are full of dust, dirt. It's like dirt all over our bed all in Marco's back and it's um and it, all in his bags we actually don't have time to swim in the waterfall today because it's also an hour walk and Ange just sprayed his ankle so <laughs> but anyways we've made it and we are very relieved people always say road trips are gonna test people and boy have we been tested today <laughs> um so yeah we're here now and we're gonna go try find somewhere to swim because we just need to like refresh and just wash off the day and wash off the dust and dirt and everything so yeah let's carry on with the day and i'll tell you about skydive later on but it was incredible good morning it is the next day we tried to look for somewhere to swim yesterday to just wash off the dust and there was just nowhere we went to this creek that was completely dried up um and then we started driving a little bit further down and that's when we realised the windscreen oh the windscreen, oh my god the wing mirror was Hello just everyone. Um, we realised that the wing mirror was so loose the waterfall is another 30 kilometres that way another 30 kilometres back on top of the drive that we've already done so I don't think the van can do it George has already broken down 
dry. Basically, we got up in the morning, had a breakfast and just left. We didn't even attempt to do another 30 kilometers. We did not even attempt the one hour walk. We were like, you know what? Black down, finished. So we just thought, let's go, carry on the road trip, keep the good vibes going and just carry on. And clearly, I didn't think to vlog anything else. The road trip is over, um, which is so sad, but it was the most amazing experience ever. If anybody comes to Australia, an East Coast road trip is literally a must. I'll try to leave any information down below if you're planning on coming to Australia or you want to, we're already, already in Australia, you need some tips or whatever, because we definitely, definitely learnt a lot on this road trip. But for now, East Coast is complete and on to the next adventure but thank you guys so much for keeping up with this chaotic random vlog as per usual and yeah it's a few weeks forward from the vlog or for from this vlog and so much has happened so stay tuned for all the fun and exciting and chaotic other things that have happened in my life since but that is it for now guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one love ya bye